Good afternoon everyone, we're joined by Dave Kevin here at Rodney Parade after Val suffered defeat. Dave, when you look at that, we've come to a side that are unbeaten here and, and really challenged them. You know, we've, uh, we've pushed them all away, you know, uh, we finished the game strongly, we, we grew into the game second half. We knew it was always going to be a tough uh, 90 minutes, but uh, we felt we more than matched them. A moment of magic, it's fair to say, from their winger as well, just showed a yard of pace and, and he's played a great ball win. Yeah, no, they've, they've, they've got some good players, you know, they're, they're, uh, they, they can be physical when they need to be, um, which you need to be in this league, but they've also got some good quality and, uh, you know, but over the 90 minutes we, we felt we, we more than competed with them and uh, we're unfortunate that we didn't take a couple of our own chances. And we, said, we said before about those chances, you know, Leggy hitting the bar with Montano again from, with, a, with a great chance from the head. It's just against these opposition at a higher calibre, it's about taking your chances at the end of the day, isn't it? And they have. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, you know, uh, away from home, chances are a rarity really and uh, you know we've managed to fashion out three or four that you've mentioned there and uh, just disappointment that we, we couldn't find the back of the net with one of them. Could have been two down had it not been for Scott Brown saving that penalty. What was your view on that penalty because I know I was tearing my hair out in that press box when, he, when the referees pointed to the spot. I thought it looked very very harsh. Well from where we were it was just two players grappling and, and trying to uh, you know challenge for a, for a cross and you know, we're away from home, so generally the, the home team gets the, the benefit of the doubt there. But uh, no, we'll have a look at it, as we always do. We'll analyse the game and, and, and the major incidents from the game. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. But yeah, we were disappointed, but fair play to Brownie, he, he's, he's kept it out. I suppose at the moment, obviously, you're not happy with the result. But I, I can imagine when you when you analyse this game on Monday, when, when the players are back in, you take plenty of positives in this game. You know, you come into teams like this and you're really putting on a, a battle for them. Yeah, I, I mean, Newport are on a fantastic run and uh, you can see why. They've, they've got some good players, they have a way of playing, which is difficult to, to counteract and play against. But today I felt we more than, more than matched them and, you know, we've got to be encouraged by that. Yeah, we're all disappointed, of course we are. You know, we don't, we don't want to be losing football matches, but, you know, that sometimes you can lose in a manner and, and to, a, to a man we've, uh, we've absolutely contested every ball that's bounced on that pitch today. And just an update on Jordan Archer, didn't look great there. No, I've not seen Jordan yet or spoke to Chris, the physio, but uh, no, he looks in a lot of discomfort. Up next, Plymouth, another tough game at home, but we're unbeaten at Vale Park so far in the league. And it's, you take plenty of confidence going into this one. Yeah, obviously we'll be, you know, we'll be more than ready by the time uh, Plymouth comes round on Saturday. Uh, we'll learn from this and we'll try and improve on this and then it'll be nice to be back in front of our, our home supporters and hopefully give them something to cheer about.